I'm the author of Preparing for Algebra. I started and ran the homework club for nearly 20 years, primarily working with kids who struggle with math. And from this experience, we had created worksheets that were specifically designed to help kids and tutors work with kids who struggle in this subject. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find it easy to understand. And by the end of all of this, you'll be very prepared for algebra. So let's just get going. Hi, my name's Susan. Welcome to Preparing for Algebra. The first chapter may appear very easy, but it is necessary for you to com become completely familiar with the special language and procedures of algebra. By the end of this book, you will be prepared for algebra. Now note, you need to dog-ear the pages you don't 100% understand. So we're going to get on to this. Chapter 1 is about basic math, but we enter into words of math very, very quickly. So we're going to get on with it on page 2. Great, page two. The bubbles have tips and tricks in them and for a better and deeper understanding of what you're learning on that particular page. So together we'll learn lots of words of math. If you don't know a word, you can go to the glossary and look it up. Here on page two, six plus eight obviously equals 14. The challenge here is that we're taking away the plus sign and we're adding words of math plus combined with added to in addition to, the bottom of most of our pages has some kind of little challenge, and this one just asks a simple question, 8 plus 3 equals 3 plus 8. Does that work and does that not work? You know, think about it for all addition problems. We're going to go on to subtraction with the same kind of challenge problem as we have here. So let's move on to page 3. Page 3. So we're going to be isolating a variable, x, to um, solve these equations. The procedure is very simple. What You want to get rid of a number on one side, for example, in this example, 1 plus x equals 2. So you want to get rid of the 1 on the left hand and then subtract it also on the right hand, balancing the equation x equals 1. I know this is simple and you know that, but the procedure here is what you need to learn. So x plus 3 equals 5. We know it's 2, but let's take away 3 from both sides to solidly prove this point. We'll go on to the next. Great, page four. So equations like these on this page are set up just so you understand that, for example, x plus two is actually the same number as nine. X then becomes seven. The expanded explanation of these is how I want you to write this out. So the next problem is x equals something because that x plus 8 equals 12. So therefore, 4 plus 8 equals 12. Therefore, x is 12. I'll give you a few seconds. Come back to page 5. Page 5. To solve these equations, it's the same as the addition ones, except for we're going to subtract the same number from both sides. So v plus 18 equals 47. Now to get v by itself, we're going to subtract 18 from both sides. So v plus 18 minus 18 being 0 equals 47 minus 18, which is 29. I want you to go ahead and finish the few problems on this page. It's the process that's helpful once we get to more difficult problems. Great, page 6. Let's say all our word problems allowed. This will deepen comprehension as we go along. So this is subtraction. Where the question is, Subtracting 3 from 8, and you want to write that equation. I'm going to ask you, did you get 3 minus 8, or did you get 8 minus 3? Take away 3 from 8, same question. And think about it. Let's go on to page 7, where we'll do another example of this. Page 7. Now we're going to do some subtraction problems with words of math. 8 fewer than 12, how would you write that? 16 minus 7 gives you a clue. Below that, 16 subtracts 7, so words of math. The challenge problem at the bottom, 14 minus 8, does it equal 8 minus 14? Why or why not? 14 minus 8? 6. Well, what is 8 minus 14? It's a negative number. They do not equal. Those are, that's the explanation. So we're going to move on, but I want you to write out these problems. Thank you. I'm going to keep this simple. This is finding x 
using subtraction. With subtraction, we're going to add the number to both sides to keep it balanced, to isolate the variable, if that makes sense. If it were an addition problem, t plus 3, we do the opposite operation and subtract 3 from both sides to keep the balance of the equation. Do you see the logic here? Page 9. This is a simple review. All chapters don't have a review like this in the back of each chapter, but this one does. So solving for the variable, you're remembering to balance the equation. If it's x plus 15, we're going to go x minus 15. If it's x minus 23, we're going to do x plus 23, or y in this case. So go ahead and finish the review, and we'll see you in the next page. Now this has a lot of words on it, but we're just going through vertical addition with double digits and subtraction with double digits. The concept here is place value. And with addition and your carrying numbers over into the second column, which are the tens from the ones, or the hundreds from the tens. In this case, we're just dealing with two digits at the moment, but the next page and the next few pages will have triple digit addition and subtraction where we carry or borrow. Um, but again, it's all about place value. So I want you to read through this page and do the practice example problem. Great, we're on page 11. Now, this is simple addition and subtraction double digit borrowing and carrying. Two problems are written differently. And the reason I've written them differently is because the concept I want to teach right here with this page is that all addition and subtraction is in fact addition. So everything is either adding in the forward movement towards the right where you're adding up numbers or in the opposite direction when you're taking away numbers or subtracting. So 65 plus a minus 31 is actually just 65 minus 31. And I want you to notice that. There's a second problem that's also written differently. Write it down at 12. This is simple addition with carrying from place value, ones to tens to hundreds to thousands. The trick here is to keep things lined up. And my favorite mistake is being messy. That could be your favorite mistake. A list of them are in the back of the book, so you may want to check that out. Rewrite the word problem and solve the word problem here, 483 and 256. As the addition page, this is subtraction. So we're regrouping or borrowing. So from a 10 to a 1, from a 100 to a 10, and a 1,000 to a 100. So it's all backwards and borrowing. Again, bottom question here uh, to read aloud. 40,010. Take away 3,519. Page 14. We've made it for the day. These are addition and subtraction word problems. Go ahead and finish the three. Read them out loud. Solve. And we will see you in our next clip from starting from page 15. Take care. Bye.